Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiber Flux. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet these super cute, totally turkey earrings. We're gonna be making some parts. We're gonna make the head, the body, and some feathers. And each of the parts is completed in just one round. So these are really quick and easy to stitch up. And then totally optional, but if you want to, I'm gonna show you how to make like a little beak here and the little um, waddle on the side. Um, which is also easy, but it's completely optional. Then we're going to put them together with some hot glue, also very quick and easy. The finished earring measures about an inch and a half from the tip of the feather across to the other tip of the feather, and then the height of the finished earring is about one inch. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and you'll want one on the smaller side because we are using some embroidery floss. Um, a tape measure or ruler is helpful. It's not completely necessary, but it is helpful to have one on hand. And we're going to be using some post earrings. Um, these have, uh, mine came with the backing. You can get a pack of these at the craft store, but they have a flat side on one side and then the post with the backing. These came with the backing. Sometimes they don't, so just be mindful that you may have to buy your backing separately. We're gonna be using a 3.5 millimeter E crochet hook. This is a pretty small hook to accommodate our embroidery floss here. And then we're going to be attaching our turkeys to our earring posts with um, hot glue. Now you could use another strong glue. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be hot glue. You could use some uh, craft glue, like I really like Eileen's tacky glue, or um, some E6000 is a very strong glue, but I'm gonna be using hot glue for this. And we're gonna be using some embroidery floss. Now, as you can see here, I have lots of beautiful fall colors. Um, you'll want it like a little spectrum of feather colors. So you can kind of mix and match or um, go by what I had here. Um, I like to use DMC floss, but I do have a mix here today. Um, I have some DMC in color 356. 315, uh, this red is 349, um, the green is 699, and then I have, uh, this is um, super old, it's just a bright yellow, so I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what color number that is, but just like a really bright yellow. And then I have some coats. This one is actually uh, kind of vintage, but this is 75A, but just um, like a yellow, orange, red, green, dark brown and then a lighter brown for the turkey body and you'll be just fine and you can kind of double up if you want to make all your feathers red or just do maybe like red yellow red yellow or something like that it's totally up to you um, just use what you have on hand and if you need to go get some at the craft store um, each one of these skeins is really inexpensive I've never paid more than like 35 cents for one of these. I've never seen them over 50 cents. So you can get a bunch of colors um, to have on hand for projects like this as well. So let's get started. We're gonna start with our feathers first. We're gonna make four feathers per turkey. So I have um, some yellow, orange, red, and then green. And we're gonna sort of fan them out and I have them kind of loosely in rainbow order here. So when you have a skein of um, embroidery floss like this, you wanna make sure you keep the labels on. That will keep everything nice and neat. Locate the end and kind of while holding the labels, just very carefully pull it out and it will stay nice and neat. See how it just kinda comes up like that? Okay, let's start with our feather, our first feather. Again, we're gonna make four per turkey, okay? So what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna zoom way in because this is really tiny. What we're gonna do is put a slip knot on our hook first. So wrap the embroidery floss around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn or floss behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop and tighten. The next thing we're gonna do is chain four. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, and four, and then we're gonna join in the farthest chain from our hook to create a ring. We're gonna work our stitches into the center of the ring. So go down to that farthest chain from the hook, bring up a loop, now bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook, 
And then we have our little tiny ring that we're going to be working into. I'm also going to hold this tail along the edge as we work. Now, not too long ago, I shared a pattern for the lovely leaves earrings. You may recognize this. We're going to use that leaf pattern for our feathers. So anyway, for round one, what we're going to do is in the center of the ring, and this is really quick, just one round. In the center of the ring, we're going to work two half double crochets to start. So to make a half double crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into the center of the ring, and bring up a loop you'll have three loops on the hook. And I wanted to mention as a side note, this is so tiny and kind of fiddly at times, so just go nice and slow and take your time with this. So you'll have three loops on the hook, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through all three loops. So that's one half double crochet, and we're gonna do a second one. I'm gonna get a little bit more embroidery floss off of here. All right, we're gonna do a second half double crochet into the center of the ring. just like that. And then what we're going to do is work two single crochets next. Insert the hook into the center of the ring once again, bring up a loop. Next, wrap yarn around hook and bring it through both loops. I keep saying yarn. I mean floss, but it's just habit. <laughs> work a second single crochet, insert the hook into the center of the ring, bring up a loop, wrap it around the hook, bring it through both loops. Okay, so two single crochets. Then we're going to work one double crochet. Wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into the center of the ring, bring up a loop. This time you're going to wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the second two loops. Then what we're going to do is once again work two single crochets into the center of the ring. So insert the hook, bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, bring it through both loops, repeat. Insert the hook, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. Okay, our leaf is finished, so we just need to join with a slip stitch to close the round. So locate that first stitch that you did, and go in both loops, because that'll make it a little bit more secure and you won't pull a loop out. Um, so insert it into that last stitch, or that first stitch that you worked rather, bring up a loop, and then bring it through the loop that's already on your hook. Okay, now our leaf, or feather, if you will, looks a little misshapen right now. It's okay, we're gonna fix it up. All right, so what we wanna do next is cut our floss, wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through the loop, and we have a tiny little feather. So the next thing we need to do is sort of do a little finish work on here. We have where we worked that double crochet, that's the, the top point of our feather. So just give that a little pinch and then flip your feather over, and that tail that we wove in as we went along, just tighten that right up to close that circle, that ring. Grab your scissors once again, and just cut that flush, because that's already woven in. We don't have to weave it in with a needle. Then we're gonna take our needle, and we're gonna thread that other tail, and we're just going to along the back. The back is the side that faced away from you as you made the feather. And we're going to go into those back loops of the back of the feather. And you just go right in there like that and then pull it. Grab your scissors and just give it a little snip. And then you can just kind of shape it up. You want the bottom to be a little bit round and then you want the top to have a nice little feather point, okay? So what you're gonna do next is repeat what we just did for each of your feathers. Now I'm gonna do um, like a little fan of them. You can do as many as you want. You could even layer them a little bit, like have two and then one behind it to make it look extra feathery, okay? So go ahead and repeat for the rest of your feathers. And then when we rejoin, we're going to make the um, body and the head part of the turkey next. The next thing we're going to make is the turkey's body, and it's done in just one round. And what we're going to do is, once again, we're going to put a slip knot on our hook. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop, and tighten. Next, we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four, and then the same way we did the feather, we're going to go into that farthest chain from the hook with a slip stitch, 
and join to create a ring. Same thing we did before, okay? Next, we're going to chain three. Uh, again, I'm holding that tail along the edge as I work. That will save you uh, some steps at the end. And also, you'll want to kind of open up that ring so you can work into that. So go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. That's gonna count as one of our double crochet stitches. Then we're gonna work 11 double crochets into the center of the ring. So again, to make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into the center of the ring and bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. And I'm just gonna get a little bit more yarn here. All right, so that was one. We're gonna do a total of 11 double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, let me get a little bit more floss there, eleven, and twelve. We're going to join in that third chain up, one, two, three, with a slip stitch to close the round. Whoops, let me just, uh, there we go. And it is complete. So take your scissors and cut the yarn, wrap yarn around hook, and bring it through the loop to fasten off, okay? Then what we're gonna do is very similar to what we did with our feather. We're gonna flip it over, pull that center tail that we wove in as we went along nice and tight and trim it flush. And then what we're going to do is grab our needle, flip it over to the back, and we're just going to weave that in. Like that, okay? And so our turkey body is complete and it's a nice little circle. Okay, let's slide the turkey's body over. So now we have uh, some of the feathers done, the body done. Let's do the turkey's head really quick. We're gonna work the turkey's head in the, in the shade darker so you can see it. So if you're making yours in different colors, uh, maybe do just a shade different so that there's a little bit of a contrast so you can see. Okay, so let's um, make the head. It's very easy. It's just like the body, but we're gonna just use single crochet stitches. So put a slip knot on your hook to begin. And then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Join with a slip stitch to close the ring. And then we're gonna open up the ring a little bit like we did before so we can fit all those stitches in there. Next, we're going to chain one, and then we're gonna work 11 single crochets into the center of the ring. Insert the hook into the center of the ring, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. That's one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay? So 
we get a lot of floss here. Uh, we're going to just cut the yarn and join with a slip stitch to close. And that first stitch worked, or that chain one rather. And then just fasten off. And then what we're going to do is the same thing. We're just going to pull that center tail nice and tight to close up the center and give it a trim. And then you can kind of shape things up a little bit and then flip it over to the back and we're going to weave in that tail. So thread your, whoops, thread your tapestry needle. If the plies come apart like this, you can give it a twist. All right, and then flip it over to the back and you can just weave in those ends. And trim, okay? So now we have the turkey's head and I'm just gonna shape things up so it looks nice and neat. Okay, once you have all your components together, um, you can add a little face to your turkey if you want to, totally optional. You can leave it sort of abstract. Um, I grabbed some beads. You could do some like bead eyes or something like that. Um, I did a little stitch for a beak and, uh, in yellow and a little red stitch in uh, for the, the wattle, the little hangy red part. Um, it's totally up to you, but I'll show you how I did it real quick. So I just took some scraps. Um, I have some, actually, I have a piece of yellow um, here. And all I did for the, the beak is grab the head, and then I went in, I came up, find an edge that you like, but I came up from the back sort of close to the, the center hole. And um, let me get this, there we go. And then I came up from the bottom and then I went back down into that edge where the stitch is. And again, this is optional. If you wanna do it, um, that's fine. But if, if it's a little too much fuss for you, that's, I totally understand. So come up from the back and then just go into that edge with your floss. Okay, just add like a little, it's sort of like a suggestion of a beak, just a little, just a little dot of color really. And then on the back, now this is all going to be glued together. So on the back you can just tie it, and don't tie it too tight because it will pull your stitch in, but um, you can just tie it shut and trim it flush because it will be glued and all that stuff will sort of be locked into place. Okay, and it just gives like a little hint of a color here. And then you can just, uh, like I said, just trim it flush like that and then grab a little piece of red and you can do eyes if you want to I'm just going to do the little beak just to give just to give a suggestion that it's the turkey face coming from the back where you did the beak and then just do like one simple little stitch just go up and back down and again it might be a little fiddly for you but just kind of working in there the best you can, okay? And then that kind of just gives a little suggestion there, okay? And then once again, you can tie it to the back. All right, the last thing we need to do is assemble everything. So I have my two earring backs, and let me just zoom out so you can see everything. I have my glue gun heating up, so while we put it together, it can heat up. All right, so we have our two turkey bodies. We're gonna do this in, in parts. Um, if you try to glue everything together at once, it, it can get a little cumbersome. So we have our green leaves, and then we have our red for each one, the orange, the yellow, and then our little turkey head that we embroidered. Again, totally optional. I know it's fiddly to embroider such tiny little things. Um, if you need to trim the backs a little bit, um, go ahead and do that. Again, we will be gluing some of this, so it doesn't the knot doesn't have to be perfect because once you get a little glue on there, it will hold it together. So if you need to trim some of these little ends up, feel free to do that. And I see one sticking out here. Um, beads, seed beads, um, other things you could do French knots. 
um, things like that for your your face if you want it to have a face it doesn't have to okay so once everything is put together we are going to start by gluing the head onto the body okay so just carefully let me slide all this up so you can see it better just carefully pick up the head leave the the body on the table here and get it how positioned how you want and then whenever you're gluing something that you've stitched um, use the tiniest amount and don't push too hard because it'll squish through those beautiful stitches, okay? So just do like the tiniest little dab of glue and then what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna put a little bit where those embroidery knots are. And if you have strings, it's okay. I'm gonna give you a little tip at the end. And then just lay it onto your circle and then just give it a nice little tap. And if you have something that you want to reposition, like see I have a little thread popping through here. Um, while the glue is soft, I'm going to use my needle just to sort of position everything, okay? And then we're going to do that. And if you notice the two circles, the bottom edges are kind of flush to one another, okay? Now let's repeat for the other turkey. I'm going to flip the head over. We're just going to get a little bit of glue. You just want like the tiniest amount. It doesn't take much to hold it on and figure out how you want your circle and then just kind of drop it down on there and just give it a light tap just so the, the fibers will join ever so gently, okay? The next thing we wanna do is the feathers, okay? So to do the feathers, uh, we wanna put them kind of behind the turkey's body. So again, get them um, positioned how you need them to be, sharpening up the points um, if needed and get them in the right order. And we're gonna sort of put them behind the turkey. Okay, so we're gonna do two out the side and then two at the top like that, okay? So the easiest way to do that is to, at the bottom edge of your feather, just put like a little dab of glue, just the smallest little dab of glue, and then just kind of stick it to the back of the turkey. Now if we flip this over, we want that circle to be kept intact because we're gonna put the backing on it, okay? And then lay it down and then grab your next feather, figure out exactly how you want it to go on here. Pinch the, the top of the feather however you want it. Drop a little dab of glue on the bottom front of the feather and then just kind of tack it on there, just like that, okay? Grab your next feather, figure out where the top point is and on that bottom edge, do a little tiny dab of glue, and then just kind of tack it right on there, okay? Making sure you don't squish the glue through. That's e very easy to do. And then our last feather, we're just gonna do the tiniest little dab, and we're gonna put it out the side here, okay? If they overlap a little bit, it's okay. It adds a little texture and interest on there, okay? And there is our turkey. How cute is that? All right, so then, the last thing we wanna do for our turkey is to flip it over and our hole is still showing. We're gonna add, I would recommend putting it onto the piece, not this pedestal, because when you push it through, you're gonna see it, okay? So go ahead and just put the, the, the tiniest little drop. All you need is a little petite drop on there and carefully place it onto the earring, okay? Try to center it as much as possible, okay? We're gonna be very gentle. Now, if you're getting these glue strings, you can pull them off by hand, or you can take a hot hair dryer and just sort of wave it over and they'll kind of shrivel up and disappear, okay? So there's one done, super cute. All right, so let's um, go through and do these, these other feathers and get our other earring complete. We're gonna put that yellow one out the side. Try to mimic what you've done on this side. And we're gonna put another dab on that next orange feather. I used up all my bright pumpkin orange for the pumpkin earrings that I shared not too long ago. So I had this more dull orange to use for this one. And then I'm gonna drop the red one on there. Again, if they overlap a little bit, it's okay. You don't want it to be too bulky because you want them to sort of sit flat, but um, if they overlap it, it kind of makes more of a natural feather look. Okay, and there's the last one. Position everything if you need to really quick before it cools. And that's our other turkey. So 
Once again, we're gonna flip this over and just be really gentle because it's probably not dry quite yet. And we're just gonna put a little, I did like a U shape of just some little glue dots. And then I'm gonna take my earring and I'm gonna press it to the back, just like that, okay? Not too hard, we don't want it to show through. And if you have any glue strings, again, you can pull them off or use a hot hair dryer to sort of clean them up a little bit. And let's look at them. You want them to cool and dry completely, obviously, before you wear them or give them to someone. But our turkeys are complete. They are so cute. I just love them. They're festive. You can wear them all through the month of November or on Thanksgiving Day. So that is how you crochet the Totally Turkey Earrings. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.